Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Science for Young Minds with Merivit Education Center. This series is for Platoon 4. Let's learn some new words. Are you ready? You will learn how to pronounce and spell some new words. Here are some important words for this lesson. Can you say them with me? Here we go. Number one, non-flowering. Number two, mosses. Number three, ferns. Number four, conifers. Number five, spores. Please say the words by yourself. Please say the word with me. Non-flowering. Let's say it again. Non-flowering. N O N F L O W E R I N G That was fantastic. Can you say the word by yourself? Excellent. Mosses, ferns, and conifers are examples of non-flowering plants. Can you read the sentence on your own? Wonderful! Let's learn another. Please say the word with me. Ferns. Let's say it again. Ferns. F E R N S. That was fantastic! Can you say the word by yourself? Excellent! Ferns are very old type of plants. Can you read the sentence on your own? Wonderful! Let's learn another. Please say the word with me. Mosses. Let's say it again. Mosses. M O S S E S. That was fantastic. Can you say the word by yourself? Excellent. Mosses can grow in many places, such as on the rocks on the tree trunks, on the forest floor, and on the walls of buildings. Can you read the sentence on your own? Wonderful! Let's learn another. Please say the word with me. Conifers. Let's say it again. Conifers. C-O-N-I-F-E-R-S. That was fantastic. Can you say the word by yourself? Excellent. Conifers are easily identified with their needle-like or scale-like leaves. Can you read the sentence on your own? 
Wonderful. Let's learn another. Please say the word with me. Spores. Let's say it again. Spores. S P O R E S. That was fantastic. Can you say the word by yourself? Excellent. Spores and gones are produced for reproduction. Can you read the sentence on your own? Wonderful! In this lesson, you will learn how to identify some non-flowering plants with their characteristics. Look at the pictures. Do you know some of these plants? Yes, we have mosses, pine tree, and ferns. These plants are non-flowering plants. Do you know why? Great! They don't bear flowers at all. They produce spores, cones, and capsules for reproduction. Let's try to look at some specific examples of non-flowering plants. Are you ready? Look at these plants. Do you know their names? Terrific! Mosses are non-flowering plants. They have spores in their capsules for reproduction. Where do you usually find them? Good job! They usually grow on rocks, trunk of trees, and walls of buildings. Let's have another example. Look at these plants. Do you know what are their names? Wonderful! They are ferns. They are also non-flowering plants. They have spores which is used for reproduction. The spores are located on the underside of the leaves. Let's look at another example. Look at these plants. How are they different from the mosses and the ferns? How are they the same? They are the same with mosses and ferns because they also don't bear flowers. So, they are also called non-flowering plants. Mosses and ferns have spores for reproduction, but conifers have cones for their reproduction. Please get your science workbook and open it on page 20 and answer activity 1, letters A to C. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next episode.